Hey guys, Abs here, welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm gonna be taking you through the WordPress plugin and how to install it on your website. Um, so the very first thing that we need to do is download the WordPress plugin, which you can do after you've logged in to your website, sorry, to the Bookmark Lovers website, um, and along the left-hand side, you've got a WordPress plugin link. Um, if you click on that, guys, it should automatically download for you. It's called Bookmark Lovers Premium Plugin .zip. Um, We'll click on OK, guys and download that. Um, as you can see, I've already downloaded one version, so this is automatically saved to my um, desktop, sorry, to my download section as plugin 2.zip. That's Bookmark Lovers Premium Plugin 2.zip. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to my blog. I've got a test blog here, which is websitedesignfree.com forward slash blog. And I'm gonna go over to plugins, and then I'm gonna go over to add new. And then what we need to do is click on upload. Once we're in the upload menu, guys, we click on browse and browse over to our download folder or wherever it was that it was actually installed. So I've got downloads all automatically opened up here. Um, and the download was called um, Bookmark Lovers Premium Plugin. So I'm gonna try and navigate to that. We don't want to unzip this because we're gonna be uploading it with um, in the zip form, uh, sorry, in the zip folder. Okay, here we go, Bookmark Lovers Premium Plugin 2. Okay, I'm gonna click on open and I'm gonna click on install now and then I'm gonna click on activate plugin and that has been activated now along the left hand side guys underneath settings uh, we're looking for bookmark lovers we need to click on bookmark lovers there guys and we're brought up with um, a number of details down here now obviously the best been a username and the best been a password guys um, I'm not 100% sure why it's auto automatically filled on my blog but obviously this isn't the, these aren't the correct details um, so if that happens to you guys we just need to sort them out and put your own details in there that is if you want to use the best spinner. Okay, so when you purchased, you were emailed an access key, a transaction ID, and your email. Your email and your transaction ID are used to log in to bookmarklovers.com, um, and your access key is actually used to authorize the plugin on your WordPress blog. Now, developer license holders and standard license holders are gonna be done differently. On this demonstration, I'm gonna be showing you um, how to do it for, um, for standard license users only. Um, so place your access key in here, guys, and place your transaction ID in there. Click on update and you should see that go over to authorized. Uh, once that's done, that means you know the plugin has been authorized with your blog now, and you can authorize another two more blogs with the standard license. You've also got another sending, uh, you've also got another setting down here, guys. Um, by default, um, basically what this does, it allows you to set your character limit from your description of however many characters that you want to send over to bookmark lovers in order to post onto your, your numerous web 2.0 sites. Um, as standard is set to 9,500 characters. You can enter as many characters as you want in there. So, sorry, whatever number you want in there for your characters, but it cannot exceed 9,500 characters due to the way some of the websites um, actually render and allow you for the posting limits. Um, even though we have some coded in the back end, uh, we can't send no more than 9,500 characters. And then you have groups, guys. Now with groups, what we're, what we're doing here is actually telling the plugin what group to post to on our website. So on your Bookmark Lovers account. So if we go back over to bookmarklovers.com again, guys, and we go over to my groups, um, you've got all your groups down here. What we need to do is enter the details, sorry, enter the group name exactly how it appears. So I'm gonna copy this here, guys. I'm gonna go, go back over to my blog and I'm gonna enter that group in there. And what that means, guys, is every time we make a post or update a post or publish a, uh, sorry, or publish a page, um, then our post details, our URL and our description will get sent to our Bookmark Lovers account. Obviously, we've got this authorized now and it's gonna get sent to our group, the group that we named down here. So on, if I updated this now, guys, this would get, and I made a post, this would actually get sent to autobacklinkbomb.com group, which is this group here and it only has one connection. What you can also do as well, guys, is separate it via comma and add as many groups as you like. So you can post to all of the groups if you wanted to, um, or you can spe specify the groups that you want to post to here. So if I did update it now, guys, um, then and made a post, then it would actually get sent to the autobacklinkbomb.com group and the bookmarklovers.com group. Alternatively, guys, you can leave it empty. And if you do leave it empty, um, 
it will automatically it, it will send to the default locations which is every single group that you have inside of the bookmark lovers um, website so if you don't enter anything in there guys it's going to get sent to every single group if you want to control what groups it get sent to just enter the group down here if you want to send it to multiple groups enter the group separated by a comma and we don't want any spaces in there after that guys you can actually enter your best spinner details um, which is your username and your password and what happens is you enter your normal standard article on your website and what the software what the script will do is actually communicate with the best spinner get some spin syntax send it over to the bookmark lovers account which it will then be untangled um, and then um, a unique article or a unique version will be sent to each one of these areas here and if you have multiple accounts linked sorry if you have multiple connections linked to the one group and you're sending to all them connections then it'll automatically spin for each connection as well just to make sure that we keep our details unique um, on each site um, so that's all you have to do guys update settings and post away now there is one more thing as well that I want to talk to you about and that is um, when you are making a post or when you are when you are publishing a post or you're publishing a page um, then you just do it as usual just ensure that this is configured here and it's activated and it'll automatically get sent over to our groups sorry to your groups that you note in there however it's gonna be two moments let me just bring up um, a blank notepad however when you want to update a post guys or if you want to update a page then it's not automatically going to get sent to your bookmark lovers account in order for you to get your post sent sorry in order for you to get your updated post sent so for example let's go to posts and if we go over to this one here guys as you can see this one has already been uh, posted it's already it, there is all this is an article already on my blog um, as a result guys if I want to send this I can't just click update and it gets sent over because not everyone's gonna want to update the post and have them get sent over so as a result guys you can put anywhere in in the body um, you will put two um, um, uh, you would put a tide, you would put two tides, um, now the tides is the shift key uh, and next to, uh, and the hash key as well, so you will press the shift key and the hash key together, which is like the pound sign, uh, which creates a tide sign, and then you would put two tide signs, and then send two, and then BL, and then two tide signs again, and when you click on update then guys, what that would mean is the updated post would also get sent to our bookmark lovers website, um, if you don't put send to BL uh, with the two tides in front of it and the two tides after it, um, then it's not going to send the updated post. Um, so this is exactly how you work with the plugin guys, uh, once, you're, once you do post it will automatically get sent over to your bookmark lover site um, after which it will be pending waiting for your submitter to get into action. Um, the next video tutorial guys I will be taking you through the submitter and showing you exactly how you can configure the submitter and how that works as well. Thank you very much guys and I hope to see you on the next tutorial.